I'm going to play this little clip and I kind of edited out certain parts because I don't want to see certain parts of this video. And it's regarding the Dalai Lama um, kissing a boy in the lips and asking him to suck his thumb. OK, so it, there's some audio. A woman explains what, what happened. So I'm just going to play it. In the video is the boy going after the Dalai Lama and asking for a hug. The Dalai Lama then calls him on stage, invites him on stage, and also asks him to give him a kiss on the cheek along with that hug, and the boy obliges. See the Dalai Lama then asking him to kiss him on his mouth, and then he brings him the boy's cheek, a uh, chin rather, and he kisses the boy on the mouth. And then seconds later, the Dalai Lama asks the boy to actually go ahead and also uh, suck his tongue. Okay, I know this is not normal. Okay, you can speak if you want to regarding this matter. What do you guys think about this situation? <laughs> Those faces. <laughs> Unacceptable. Well, I, I looked at the actual video of mm -hmm. him asking the boy when it wasn't blurred, mm -hmm. and it made my stomach like I was I was already caught up with the kiss. So yes. when the tongue part came in, I was, I just, I couldn't understand it. And then the chuckling in the background was just, oh, and the boy looked very uncomfortable. Yeah. Cause he kind of backed away. If you guys look at the full video, mm -hmm. like he even kind of nudged the boy's like chin toward him. And I'm like, and the chuckling in the back, I'm like, wait, is this normal in their culture? Mm -hmm. Like, why are they laughing like that? Right. So see, I see you in the back, CC, in case someone drops. But I just like, why, why is that funny? It's an 87 year old man and religious, a high religious man. And he's doing that to a child. Like, I just think like, that's, I don't know if, I don't know their culture, but I was like, uh oh, no, at all. But I wanted like, to- Let's, shoot. let's- Go ahead. It's, it's the elephant in the room. And it, it, from just my personal opinion, I feel that this has been conditioning ever since um, the general population has been able to see it actually sure it's been going on since the dawn of time but the truth is like when i watch a video like that and this is the first time seeing it but it immediately kind of reminds me of instances of like what whatever your own opinion is is like i'll just say it like we see videos like our own presidents whispering in like little children's ears and doing inappropriate things like and i'm not even saying that I think it's inappropriate on a professional level. So whatever you do behind closed doors, I like what, like even that, right. But to do it, to have the audacity to do it when you know that you're in, in view of people is even great. Like even that much more brazen, uh, in my personal opinion, evil, but I'm just saying like, I think that this is conditioning. And like it's becoming on a global scale and we're seeing it. We're literally watching it. And I just think it's I think that it is um, a sign of uh, the beginning of what's going to continue unless people just sit there and go, look, motherfucker, like, nah, nah. Yeah. End of story. I mean, That's you kind of feel. I mean, I was listening to you and say you don't really care what happens behind doors. Like, I'm like, no. I care. But I mean that I well, I mean that I meant that more of like you like this is a whole level of brazen. This is a whole new level to do it in yep. front of people. Like it's I'm not saying it's even okay behind closed doors. I, what I'm saying is like we're on a different scale now. Like we, we everybody's under eyes. So you can't just do this where it's like 20 years ago, he might have been able to do that and there was no cameras around. So he's probably himself been conditioned to be able to get away with this until now where he's under camera surveillance in a way. So that's just my opinion where these people have conditioned themselves over the years. He's what in his seventies, eighties, he's, he's probably, he's probably been doing this. Let's be honest. He's probably been doing this for several decades yeah. in my opinion. If, and if, for if, him, he's just sitting there going, hey, he probably forgot that there's even cameras. That's how I feel. He I'll, thinks yeah. that he can get away with it. I'll say this real quick, because it says here on CNN that he apologized. Yeah, but, I'm about to play it. Not to play but it, but the, it's a but little... The, but the, comfort, the comfort at which he did it 
doesn't go with an apology. It it goes to Hoop's point that it's only because he realizes, oh, oh, snap, I'm on camera. He got caught. Now I got to apologize. But it, it seems so normal and comfortable to him. Correct. So I agree with you. Yeah. Let me, I'm going to show y'all the apology that was, that was given. Um, a video clip has been circling that shows a recent meeting when a young boy asked His Holiness the Dalai Lama if he could give him a hug. His Holiness wishes to apologize to the boy and his family, as well as his many friends across the world, for the hurt his words may have caused. Words? Okay, never mind. His Holiness often teases people he meets in an innocent and playful way, even in public and before cameras. He regrets the incident. What do y'all think about this here? I think it's ridiculous that people can still go on and try to be like his holiness and, oh, he regrets it. He's sorry. And it's supposed to be accepted. Like, if these are people that you hold to a higher standard, hold them to the higher standard. And like you were saying, it's probably not something that just started now. It's something that's been going on for a minute. And I guarantee there's somebody that's backing him that knows that he's acting like this. And nobody feels like it's okay to hold these people that they hold that they see so high accountable and that's the problem that we have all the way across the board it's not just him it's stuff in the church it's stuff it's just it, it gets to a point where it just gets old yeah jasmine I mean, are you now oh i'm so sorry no yeah no oh, okay okay just make it short i'm sorry go ahead whoever i cut off i'm sorry yeah oh was, no no you're good um no i just think personally for me it just goes to show you that it doesn't matter what profession someone says they are whether you're a teacher a doctor a dalai lama it really doesn't matter for that goddamn point. What matters is assessing the character. Because the thing is this, in my opinion, he was doing this for years. He's been doing it for a really long time. And the signs were there. And just like human anatomy, we always tend to ignore it for whatever reason. I, I don't know what type of program we're on. But just because someone claims to be something doesn't ne necessarily mean it's their actual character, the essence. I mean, this Dalai Lama guy, obviously, he's been doing this. And this is the first time he got caught. That apology, I don't think it was sincere. Did it even come from him? I, I might have no. missed no, it. No, no, that definitely came from for sure. Yeah. Look, because yeah. it, how, how it's worded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his holiness wishes to apologize to the boy. Like that, he didn't he didn't write this. He definitely yeah. didn't write this. No. And it, his words, what what words? What are we talking I, about? It was his actions that he needs to. Repeat. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at the end of the day, Jasmine, I'm so sorry, darling. It's still like scratchy. Are you on Bluetooth? I'm, I'm not. I'm on my iPad. Are you near like um, on technical devices besides your iPad? My phone. Maybe that's why. Like move your phone like away from it because I used to stream on my iPad. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I sorry, sorry, whoever I cut off, but. Like, let me go back to this because they just said, um, as many friends across the world for the hurt his words may have caused them. Fuck his words. What about his actions? Why is a grown man telling a boy to suck his tongue? Like, I just, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know. I just don't play with that whole pedo I, stuff. I feel like they're trying to say his words to try to play down the actions. Like, they said he jokes around like this on a regular basis, but we all seen the actions. So maybe yeah. they're trying to downplay it to make him look good, but all in all, it's just <laughs> it's. I think well, and it's not I a joke either, right? His like, words because he they if you listen to the video, he's like, now how about suck my tongue? Yeah. So I think suck in his tongue. mind, because the action of sucking the tongue didn't happen, he thinks he should right. just apologize for the first part. But I think he should apologize for both. And what I will say is, I don't know if am I, am I staticky too. A little bit. You're echoing, yeah. I am. Or someone is making her echo. I don't know who it is. Go ahead. Keep on going, Carrie. Am I echoing again? No, no yes. that was better. Okay. I have my phone like all the way over here. But um, one of the articles that I read, I don't know if they were giving this just for a point of reference or to, it didn't sound like they were trying to justify it, but they did say that um, sticking out one's tongue is a sign of respect or um, agreement and was often used as a greeting in traditional Tibetan culture. So I don't know if they're trying to at least give a, a, a reference point of why he even mentioned his tongue. Because I'm like, why would you even ask someone to suck your tongue? Not <laughs> excusing him. But again, like differences in cultures, 
it's I don't know. I, I guess I'd be curious to hear what the Tibetan people, people. think about it. 